Police in Hong Kong have arrested several activists in the pro-democracy demonstrations that have roiled the territory over the last three months. One of them is the well-known face of the movement, Joshua Wong. Authorities say Wong and others are being investigated for their role in an unauthorized protest in June when protesters blockaded police headquarters. Police also arrested Andy Chan, a founder of a banned pro-independence party. Wong was one of the student leaders of major pro-democracy demonstrations in 2014. He was released from prison in June after serving a five-week sentence related to those protests. Well, for more on this developing story, let's cross over to our Asia correspondent, Charlotte Chelson pill She's in Hong Kong. Charlotte, what more can you tell us about the circumstances of Joshua Wong's arrest and the justification for it? Well, this has been a big sweep of activists uh, this morning, Terry. What we know about Joshua Wong is that apparently he was uh, picked up in a, in a car this morning in the early hours, taken to this police station where I am uh, right now. Shortly afterwards, uh, Agnes Chow, who is also within the same uh, party as him, was also picked up too. Now, what we're hearing is that they are suspected of taking part in unauthorized protests in June 21st, which saw the surrounding of a police station. They were also apparently accused of inciting those protests. Now, those two arrests came a day after another prominent activist was also detained, apparently on the way to Hong Kong uh, International Airport. We're also hearing in the last hour or so that a district councillor has been arrested as well. So this is the most high-profile collection of arrests that have taken part, that have taken place so far in the last 13 weeks. Let's be clear, though, that these are among 900 arrests of protesters that have happened uh, in recent weeks. So a major sweep, as you say. Police are cracking down. How are the people in Hong Kong reacting to these arrests? There's a lot of anger on social media at the moment, Terry. And what's got to be pointed out is that protesters, this protest movement started against that extradition bill, which was later suspended, but it's since uh, evolved into something very different, particularly a lot of anger at the way police have been handling these protests. Protesters uh, say that they've been extremely violent in their crackdown on those activists. That's fueled this whole movement. Now these arrests are likely to incite even more anger among people on the streets. They feel that the reaction from authorities has been uh, extremely unjust. What about uh, Joshua Wong's arrest in terms of the movement as a whole that he's been leading? He's such a prominent figure in that. What does that mean for the protest movement in Hong Kong? Well, Joshua Wong is a very prominent figure internationally due to the key role that he played in the 2014 umbrella movement. But let's be clear, this particular uh, protest movement, these 13 weeks, have been leaderless. Protests have been organizing different protests, largely on social media, a lot of uh, different individuals springing up to organize separate protests. So Joshua Wong hasn't had the same profile, the same role. Uh, in these protests this time around. And for that reason, a lot of people are, p are particularly angry. But it's also uh, an explanation why these protests are likely to go on, because they don't need a figurehead like Joshua Wong or the other activists to continue. Charlotte, thank you so much. DW Charlotte Chelson Pill there in Hong Kong.